hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will uh, resume our discussion on the subject of physics of semiconductor devices so it's been a while uh, since I have posted any video related to this subject so the next series of videos will be related to physics of semiconductor devices and so far uh, in the previous videos I think five or six videos related to the subject we discussed some of the introductory concepts uh, related to the basic physics of uh, solids uh, about their structure about the quantum theory of uh, solids the principles that are uh, related to you know the discussion of this subject so in this video we are going to uh, discuss about the most important uh, part of the subject the physics of semiconductor devices which is about semiconductors and their classification so the basic things we'll discuss we have already uh, discussed this in the uh, analog electronics uh, section uh, it has been two or three years I think uh, back so again I just wanted to discuss this uh, in a new way for this subject okay so semiconductor which is uh, we can say the most important part the, the foundation of the electronic industry is based on uh, the semiconductors especially silicon germanium so what makes semiconductors uh, so special and uh, very much applicable for the design of various uh, electronic circuitry and various things especially in the electronic industry so the important property of semiconductor which uh, which makes it so much you know valuable is that its resistivity or the conductivity lies in between that of conductors and insulators which means that it has conductivity its conductivity is more as compared to insulators but less as compared to that of the pure conductors okay so conductivity or resistivity lies in between pure conductors and pure insulators so normally its uh, resistivity lies in between 10 to the power minus 4 2.5 ohm meter or if we want to express in in terms of conductivity we just have to take the reciprocal in terms of Siemens it would be okay so it is just an approximation the exact value nobody knows so it's 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 a range okay an approximate range within which the resistivity or conductivity of a semiconductor lies and uh, as I said the popular choice for uh, semiconductors that are used in the electronic industry they are silicon germanium mainly these two semiconductors these are elemental or simple semiconductors apart from that there are other semiconductors also selenium and all and compound semiconductors are also there which we will discuss in this video the classification and uh, in how many ways we can classify them in terms of various properties okay so now some of the basic properties of semiconductors so the first and most important the resistivity or conductivity lies in between that of pure conductors and pure insulators that is one of the most important properties of semiconductors that's why it it has its name semiconductors okay so another important property of semiconductors which is especially used in the fabrication of sensors and transducers and other uh, places is its negative temperature coefficient of resistance characteristic so what does negative temperature coefficient of resistance means is that the resistance of semiconductor it has you know an inverse relationship with temperature so as temperature increases 
resistance of the semiconductor will decrease and as temperature decreases the resistance will increase okay inverse relationship opposite relationship so also the uh, you know uh, various uh, temperature sensors are fabricated especially those which are based upon semiconductors are fabricated using this property for example thermistor so this is another important property of semiconductor another important property is that all semiconductors they are crystalline in nature so crystalline property of semiconductor means that all the atoms in the semiconductor they are arranged in a well defined ordered manner they have a proper geometry associated with it so these are some of the basic properties of semiconductors now how we can classify the semiconductors in terms of various uh, in various ways so there are two ways in which we can classify the semiconductor one on the basis of composition and another one is in terms of the doping or addition of impurity so on the basis of composition or the constituents semiconductors can be classified as simple and compound so simple semiconductors are those which consists of single elements okay only one element and they are also called as elemental semiconductors for example silicon germanium selenium those compound semiconductors are those which consists of more than one elements okay so combination of elements mainly you know the group 3 and group 5 of the periodic table they are formed they are, uh, uh, and the examples of these compound semiconductors are gallium arsenide gas gallium phosphide indium phosphide aluminum gallium nitride indium aluminum uh, gallium nitride so these are some of the examples of compound semiconductors so this is the classification of semiconductors the basis of composition now the most important classification of semiconductor which you will always find in all the discussions the most important which is doping okay doping level so on the basis of doping we can classify or addition of impurity we can classify semiconductors into two categories intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors so intrinsic semiconductors are those which are in pure state and no impurity or foreign substance has been added to them okay so those are intrinsic semiconductors extrinsic semiconductors are those in which impurities are added dopants are added and uh, mainly the impurities are ad added to increase the conductivity okay the conduct uh, the conductivity level so the semiconductors with impurity added they are called as extrinsic semiconductors and the process of addition of impurity to increase the conductivity of the semiconductors is called as doping now the extrinsic semiconductors can also be divided into two categories we are not going to discuss them in detail we will discuss their formation fabrication in a separate video but just the basic concepts the extrinsic semiconductors or impurity added semiconductors can be divided into two types n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor so the n type semiconductors are those in which or which are formed by the addition of a pentavalent impurity so what is a pentavalent impurity so they have five valence electrons okay pentavalent impurities they have five valence electrons and uh, they are added by the process of doping so 
in n type semiconductors the majority charge carriers are electrons okay in n type semiconductors examples of such pentavalent impurities are phosphorus arsenic antimony those p type semiconductors are those which are doped with trivalent impurity so trivalent impurity they have three valence electrons in their outer orbit so in p type semiconductors the majority charge carriers are holes we'll discuss about them in detail why majority charge carriers are electrons in case of n type semiconductor and holes in case of p type semiconductor but for now you just uh, understand this trivalent impurity three valence electrons majority charge carriers holes examples are boron gallium indium aluminum these so these are the classification of semiconductors in terms of various uh, properties first on the basis of composition simple compound doping intrinsic extrinsic then extrinsic can be divided into uh, two categories which is p type and n type okay so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to semiconductors and their classification so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much